This video shows an alternative wiring strategy for the larger brush bot. You can see here that instead of the 9 volt battery snap, we have a 3 volt battery holder, two AA batteries, the motor, a little switch, and an extra wire. So in order to wire with these materials, uh, we are going to kind of show you how to complete the circuit. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add your batteries. I, as you can see, I'm holding the batteries and trying to film at the same time. So there's our batteries. The electricity will travel from the positive side from the negative side of the battery through the circuit. So it will start at the negative and it will go through the negative side of the battery. Where is the negative side? Well, right here you see a plus, right? So the negative or the minus is kind of up here. Right? So it travels in that direction. And so it goes through the circuit. And we're going to now connect one wire to the one, to one side of the motor. It does not matter which one. The other wire is going to be connected to one side of this little switch. The other wire is going to be connected to the other side of the switch. And finally... Our last wire goes to the other side of the motor, and we have a circuit or a circle of electricity that can be turned on and off when you touch the switch. When you pull the switch back and forth, this is called a slide switch, it will open and close the circuit, allowing the motor to turn on and off. Places that you have bare wire, you can put a little piece of electrical tape or masking tape over it for your brush bot. So that's a little extra video to kind of go over the difference. We did start shipping out this type after the 9 volt motor. And the only reason was because of supplies were easier to get for this kind of motor than the 9 volt battery snaps. Okay, thank you.